Okay, in this video I'm going to be talking about running some reports on Cisco Firepower. So I want to find my Cisco Firepower firewall. There it is right there. And the important thing to know about Cisco Firepower is that the flows we get are not traditional NetFlow or IP fix like you would get from the ASA. Uh, Cisco uh, made a break from that and we actually have to use the API called eStreamer to get the flows from uh, the appliance. So what we're looking at here is you can see the data is a lot richer in uh, Firepower from using the eStreamer API but it certainly still looks like NetFlow just more rich information if I come up here and I run a traditional flow report you can see that it definitely um, looks like NetFlow so um, the difference with the way the architecture works is with Firepower we're actually getting uh, from this using eStreamer all of the flows across of all of the uh, firepower capable appliances so we will list all of your firewalls right here in this case I only have one but if you had 10 or 50 they'd all show up here and if you wanted to run these reports off of a specific uh, firepower appliance you would just grab it like this move it over here and say include this one or exclude it in this case I'm gonna include it you can see it added it right there and I'm going to apply now that I'm running it on just that one firewall, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I can run one of my reports. And let's say I want to know what the uh, applications are. So I can do that, drill in. You can see that the usernames are not filled in. That's because we're not using that capability of the product. But uh, if I want to see Chrome, for example, or maybe I want to get rid of Chrome, just throw that over there to exclude and apply it. Okay, narrowed my results down a little bit more, and let's say I want to get rid of Firefox as well. I really want to look at that URL uh, grabber information, and specifically, uh, maybe I'll choose a time frame like that with my mouse, and then what I'll do is now that I've narrowed it down, I want to go look at more traditional type of flow data, so I'll come down here and say, just give me, I want to see what the individual flows look like, and the ephemeral ports. So they have it, number of flows, and I can can continue to say yeah you know TCP I don't want to look at that I'll just exclude that out and I, I may end up just eliminating all data when I do that yeah I did so um, to, in order to fix that I'll just come down here find that uh, filter remove it and apply it and all my data will come back so uh, with firepower we have to use eStreamer but it definitely it looks and smells just like NetFlow by the time we're done with it in our product and if you need help setting this up or maybe you want to get some unique elements uh, to report on that aren't in our list not a problem we did select a bunch of defaults and it's well documented in some of our blogs but just give us a call and we'll help you out with eStreamer reporting from your firewall uh, firepower capable appliances